It is my great honour to welcome you all here on this day to mark a commemoration and, of course, the centenary of the foundation of the Cavalry Corps. It was a hundred years ago that the Armour Corps was established, exactly 25 days after General Michael Collins was ambushed and killed in Vale Nablaw. With the expansion of the Army in 1934, the title changed to the Cavalry Corps and the Glengarry and the Corps colours of black, red and green were introduced. These colours were associated with the phrase to the mud and blood to the green fields beyond. The motor squadrons were formed in 1939 and were equipped with the famous Landsberg, Rolls-Royce and Ford armoured cars. The CAV and armoured cars were deployed to the Congo and all overseas missions since. The AML fleet entering service in 1964 in Cyprus, right up to Liberia in 2006. Being the mobile reserve for UNIFIL battalions, the CAV were involved in all major incidents in Lebanon. Not forgetting, of course, the well-documented Battle of Atiri. To the present day and now, the Moig Piranha 3 MRV and CRV are currently in use by the Corps. Corps has also other family members and they are the associations, veteran associations of the Cavalry Club, the Angari Club and the Two Cav Club. I cannot speak highly of what some people call ex-cavalry but who I consider as still cavalry. Uh, it's a great honour for me to be with you all today here in Plunkett to mark the centenary of the founding of the Cavalry Corps but also of course to remember the Cavalry personnel who have given their lives since the Defence Forces first deployed overseas in 1960.